so basically usually it is increased frequency so more and more times the person has to go there is a hesitant hesitancy also so trying to go again and again uh, and then there is a feeling that in spite of going you have to go again so it's again and again frequency and it becomes very irritating for that older adult that i just bent but that feeling of incomplete evacuation of the bladder is then a lot of people might before reaching itself the bathroom itself they might some few drops might come out because it happens that the frequency and urgency and hesitancy becomes so much that the older adult is not able to control that's why we say that the bathrooms as you get older should be much nearer the toilets rather than you have to travel a long time to actually reach there itself and also a lot of times that can uh, happen then another thing is uh, which is very important is i think drugs also drugs can cause a lot of urinary problems things like diuretics if taken in the night so placement of drugs are very very important uh, then uh, drug interactions fluid intake is very important dehydration is also a factor which is there in the older adults as you grow older you will not want to have that thirst so 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 the tendency of drinking water is less so two less is also not good two more is also not not good so that is something which is also we should take into consideration then once urinary incontinence is there then older adult should never feel male should never feel that it's a part of aging i think that is the biggest issue a lot of people are like no this might just be a part of aging when you as you get older maybe you just lose control no that is not that is not the cause then some chronic conditions can also just cause urinary problems immobility if a person is immobile on the bed then they they might not be able to go in a pot or even go to the bathroom so things like having dementia things like having a surgery things like having stroke all these things will contribute to urinary problems one of the most dangerous urinary problems is acute urinary retention so suddenly the bladder just gets full and the person is not able to go and one of the most common causes of delirium also as far as older adults are concerned you just remove the urine and they are all fine so the presenting symptoms in urinary retention can just be delirium or sir older adults is just talking nonsense and you are not able to make sense they are just getting agitated we just see examine see the bladder we just remove the urine and then they are okay and this is happens just on rounds morning you see they are okay suddenly you see after 2 hours they are all disoriented then urinary tract infection common both in males and females of course the urinary problems in females will cover in the next session because it's very very important and separate they have a complete different system itself so in that acute loss of urine will be there so the person will not have frequency will increase burning urination will be there so that time you really need to not think that it is no something normal if you have a propensity of having uti in the past then you are already at risk if you are diabetic then the chances of passing urine there's something known as polyuria so you will have to go again and again so all these things you should keep in this and you should get tested your urine routine you should get tested if there are pusses then that has to be treated then the biggest problem with urinary problems is the mental part older adults stop going out if they were earlier uh, very active they stop going out what if i wet myself in public if there is no toilet then how do i sort of address that so they just stop going out and that can be a big problem because that's why we obviously say that we had done a study of urinary incontinence in aims where i was working earlier and we had asked them will you prefer to wear diapers now the thing with first thing they asked was oh diapers means it's for children but they were like no doctor if you feel it's important we are ready so it's quality of life they are ready to wear and there is a lot of ways these times you have pants also you have pants kind of things also which are like diapers so you can wear those pants and goes there are pads everything so that you can have that normal life and not think about the urinary part and it's not because oh my god you have got quality of life is bad it's actually improving there is always a tendency in older adult to take support because they feel taking that support makes them dependent sometimes they forget that taking that support might actually make it more independent then tips which are important is fluid intake is i think very important uh they don't take too much of fluid don't take too less timing of fluids is important in the night if you take too much you'll have to go again and again then uh, another thing is it's not a normal part of aging so please don't think that it is a normal part of aging seek advice constipation should be avoided drugs always have a drug review which we always sort of do 
so at some point of course uh, we will try to cover just drugs as such also multiple medications in older adults also in in these sessions so these are all important things which older adults should always think the taboo is sometimes there and you can imagine a male person i have been independent and i am not having control on my urine they might not even tell their own spouse and sometimes it's discovered with just smell and then they are like no it's not me and then irritation increases so we have to sort of it's a very sensitive topic but if i don't ask as a geriatrician maybe nobody will so that's why it, it's easily missed that's why urinary problems are very very sort of this of course with more and more things online and people becoming more and more educated as, especially for prostate people do seek more advice these days but there are other things like fluid intake and all those things which people necessarily not they either take too much or they take too less and uh, because and they just the doctor would have said that nah, you just need to take a bit less sometimes they just misunderstand and they just sort of reduce it so much that they get dehydrated and other issues so that's why in u- the urine and problems because of the taboo it is there of course we'll talk about females in the next one the taboo is even more as far as uh, the females are concerned they might not even talk about it. 